And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Parc des Princes. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from Liga Uber Eats. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Rennes. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar out wide. And the main threat in attack today should be Kylian Mbappe. Well, here's how Rennes will line up for this match. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. The drama has commenced here in Paris. Attacking possibilities for PSG. And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, we can take another look now. It's great interplay between the two of them to start the move off. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And PSG using width to good effect. Sends it back. Gay. Gay. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Messi, Messi cutting in from the flank, real chance, oh my goodness, he's caught that so well, a goal of the highest class, fantastic technique. Well let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved, they've played really well so far. Dangerous looking through ball. 
Ronaldo. A oh, good hit, close shave. It is to be a throw-in. Ramos. Mbappe. Wijnaldum now. Messi. And he's beaten him here. Wijnaldum. Good-looking ball. And here's Vinaldo, and a crisp effort, just over the top. And Messi carries it forward. What's he going to do from this position? But quick thinking defensively. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Ronaldo shot attempted. Oh, really close, just over the top. Well, as the stats confirm, PSG have had the lion's share of possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Oh, great block. Fired in by Neymar. Well, he would love to have that header back. Traore. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy-nilly. And intercepts again. Well, a touch off the defender last of all, so a corner.
Can someone get on the end of this? The cut back. He's going forward well here. It'll be a corner. And now the delivery. Terrific piece of anticipation. And there's the delivery. Smuggled away. Idrissa Gay, and that puts them in position. And that is that, the half-time whistle. More of the same from PSG. We mentioned earlier, best home record in the league. Yeah, it's another great performance after the first 45. They just seem to be enjoying their football right now. They're moving the ball well, there's plenty of pace to their play, and they're so confident in front of goal too. It's become such a difficult place to come here and get a result. I just can't see it being any different in the second half. So underway once again, and still reflecting on a sumptuous first-half performance from Paris Saint-Germain. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Aguer, well, not giving him any breathing room. Terrier. Not a bad pass it was. chance and the keeper's delighted to see that sail well over the bar goal kick So making the substitution now. Hakimi. Verassi now. Marquinhos. Well, a pity that. It looked promising, but that's going to be claimed by the keeper. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Messi. Neymar. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Playing it in. Well, still an issue here. Danger averted for now.
Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Herrera. Verassi. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Oh, showing excellent vision. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Here it is now, a substitution. Verratti. Hakimi. Verratti. Herrera. Good defending. Santa Maria. Here's Burigo. Dangerous looking through ball. Chance maybe. That's high level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Substitution it is for PSG. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Takes the shot. Well, misfiring without any shadow of a doubt. Herrera. Neymar. And cutting inside. Giving it a try. Terrific block. Well, as we approach full time, Paris Saint-Germain absolutely coasting to victory, Stuart. Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall display now, up to now. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. And there's the final whistle, and we can confirm a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their overall display? Yeah, we've come to expect those sort of displays at home. They just play with so much creativity. And today, I thought the front players were almost unplayable.